Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Even though it's only been 2 days since we've seen the Fortnite 20.20 update, with us now being 44% way complete through this season, despite us covering all the new content in the update in the previous video on the channel, a lot of news has dropped in the last 24 hours across social media. In today's video, as you can see by the title, it not only looks like there's bad news for Clombers, as they're now only just starting to return after the snow mounds were added and now Clombries, even more intel and leaks about Miles Morales being implemented into Fortnite and this being not the only collaboration, as so many more have been announced. And let's not forget, of course, about the live event, what this is going to entail, and who's going to be involved with their potential character returning that we haven't seen in Fortnite for quite some time. I know that sounds good, so do yourself a favour, sit back, relax, grab your favourite snacks, stick around, watch the full video. It's literally only going to be around 600 seconds of your day, 10 minutes long, and throughout this video there will be a secret word on screen. Last video's was banana. As you can see, I hearted a ton of these, so of course make sure to find and comment it below for a chance to be showcased in next video. One more thing before we dive into all of that new information and juicy info, Tell it's 100% free to do also, entering code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Entering this code not only puts a giant smile on my face, but also cheers up my pug Gus, as he's been kinda sad about the fact he knows 70% of you watching right now are not subscribed. So if you hit the big red button right now, you will help us on our final push to 2.5 million subs, as we've just reached 2.4 million right now, so get clicking. After all, this only benefits you too, considering I give different subscribers every single day, who are simply, yes, subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment their Epic Games ID down below and potentially what they'd like to receive, so yeah, that could be you gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the very next video on the channel. But with that said, now enough messing around, we've got a ton of topics to go over and you guys need to know about the bad news to do with Clombo, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. Okay, so getting into it all, the first topic we have to go over is talking about the skins, or should I say rather, no skins contained in the files in 20.20. As you can see, these are all the cosmetics new on screen right now, including the two new selectable styles for the already existing skins. The reason for the last of skins or no skins leaked in general for those that don't know is because they've been added into the files but they're currently encrypted 12 of which well should I say 11 now after the release or what was dropped on us randomly last night being Moon Knight. For those that haven't seen the item shop yet this is what it looks like it's an absolutely crazy looking skin and honestly I'm surprised with it being like so hyped and everybody searching it up or just generally going on about it that Fortnite didn't anticipate releasing a cinematic or introduction trailer for him. Despite the lack of cinematic from Fortnite's end however for all Z over on Twitter a very talented animator has made the following clip you're seeing in the background right now before this skin even released. Honestly, this dude's so incredibly talented, it'll be linked in the video description down below to his Twitter and stuff, and even his YouTube channel if you want to go check out his other animations. Speaking of Twitter videos or cinematics that Fortnite have produced, they recently came out four hours ago from me recording with the following trailer or introduction anyways for FNCS Chapter 3 Season 2, which for those that don't know, as Sheena stated previously, has a $3 million prize pool. Of course, this trailer itself basically breaks breaks down the new mechanics of manoeuvrability around the map and in terms of how that will affect rotation from zone to zones in terms of competitive play. Of course with every new FNCS Cup in Fortnite we get typically new free rewards for watching the streams on drops enabled ones. Sadly as of now we don't know what they are from even looking at the game's coding as I don't believe they're even in the files decrypted. However speaking of free rewards of course we've actually got a ton in this update if you didn't already tell from the types of rewards or cosmetics we got leaked in the 20.20 update itself from me putting this on screen previously. For those that hadn't already guessed considering stickers or emojis and sprays are contained throughout the item shop, these are some brand new arena rewards where we're going to have to place throughout certain areas I believe of arena to unlock them all, but here's what they look like in reward screen form very early. In terms of another free reward that we can get for literally playing and earn all players in game, not to a specific game type or mode, is this brand new sledgehammer pickaxe. This was first revealed in this particular article for 20.20 despite the fact it introduced everything to do with the update such as the brand new shotgun and even in the voting system for the funding stations of the Boogie Bombs and Rift to Go. At the very bottom, it basically declared that there's going to be a certain event going on surrounding the origin, and Tassie is going to be giving us that we need to follow over certain amounts of days and on specific days. And from doing all of those consecutively, we'll unlock this particular pickaxe, which was in the game's coding, and again looks like this when it's rewarded onto our account for the first time. Another free reward related to the Soundwave series, of which last we saw Tones and I performing a concert in creative mode, which we unlocked this spray from attending 
in. According to Fire Monkey, it looks like this is going to be happening again. A free reward for attending a creative concert, which will be on the Discovery menu very soon, which will not only get 45,000 XP from actually collecting the coin at the end of the concert, but also this free spray, which you see in early in reward screen form, that data miners have managed to pour onto accounts early. We didn't actually know that information until today, even after the 20.20 update, as well as what I'm about to break down now being a brand new collaboration that was dropped on us randomly from being teased across social media in this particular form anyways by Wu-Tang Clan. And this of course, as you can imagine, is a Fortnite x Wu-Tang Clan collaboration as literally this entire pack was decrypted, basically showing a ton of cosmetics for new upcoming skins, a bundle, obviously everything that will be coming to the item shop, and even another free reward. Fortnite also gave us an early look by publishing this very short video to their Twitter of what the Wu-Tang is forever emote will look like, being, yeah, the only emote out of this list of cosmetics that was leaked surrounding them. And despite this particular loading screen that FireMonkey tweeted out being technically a free reward, considering they don't come to the item shop, and I'm guessing we're going to find out in a few days how we obtain this, we thankfully know that this particular spray, for those interested, the Wu-Tang spray, can only be obtained via purchasing Wu-Tang X Fortnite IRL merch from this particular website, of which looks like this on screen right now. So if you guys were already planning to pick any of this up, then you've got a bonus reward, I guess, in-game for this collaboration of this spray. For those wondering when the Wu-Tang cosmetics are coming to the Fortnite item shop, according to FireMonkey again, it's going to be April 23rd at 8pm Eastern Time, so make sure to make a note of that if you definitely wanted to get everything as soon as it releases. Moving on now strictly from just cosmetics, however, this kind of does involve one of the skins that everybody's been wanting to see from the Spider-Verse itself, being Miles Morales. Many people were puzzled at the start of this season to see the Daily Bugle still standing, of course, with the introduction of Spider-Man in the Battle Pass for Chapter 3 Season 1. After this collaboration was over, meaning at the end of that season, we also thought this name location's lifespan would too. Not only was it managed to be still standing as a name location at the start of Chapter 3 Season 2 with a blimp above it, but when this blimp crashed, they had the perfect opportunity Epic Games to put it into this name location, destroying it, but they didn't. And with the recent introduction of the Prowler update being 20.20 as Prowler was introduced literally as soon as the update went live, the challenges to be able to unlock him, all of which are on screen right now, so feel free to pause the video. Also, a quest line, according to Sheena, was added to one of Prowler's quests, where he apparently says, you're on your way, just keep going, and apparently this is a quote from a very important scene in the Spider-Verse movie, where he says this to Miles Morales. Obviously, for those that don't know, Miles Morales is the nephew of Prowler, or Prowler is Miles Morales' uncle. And despite this subliminal hint pointing toward Miles Morales upcoming in Fortnite, despite posters of many variants of Spider-Man being at the Daily Bugle that currently haven't emerged, including Miles Morales, Hypex tweeted out last night, Spider-Man's Mythics was updated yesterday. They're reworking the camera movement. They'll most likely return somehow at some point, perhaps even this season. And as you can see, Cypher PK quote tweeted this, saying Miles Morales x Fortnite. So it's safe to say everybody in the community wants to see this, and if it does happen, perhaps these web shooters are even revamped in the manner of Miles Morales or his spider suit to look like this on screen right now. Who knows, it should be only a matter of time now before Miles Morales is added into game with Epic Games not only subliminally teasing it, but with the community really wanting it. And speaking of what's only a matter of time, of course, as time ticks away of this season, with us nearly being 50% way through its completion now until the release of Chapter 3 Season 3, we're definitely going to be seeing a live event this season if it wasn't already obvious, as the conflict and war between the Imagined Order and the Seven established in the trailer are literally shown as a forefront of this season. It's currently only heading one way, with the Seven pushing back the Imagined Order's boundaries being red and the Seven being blue, all the way to this end stage that I've showed in previous videos, which then resides the Imagined Order's control only over their base of operations primarily, being Command Cavern and also Loot Lake being the outskirts of Tilted Towers. Speaking of Loot Lake, more specifically though, of these locations, considering it's less obvious for things to be going down here rather than Command Cavern being the literal base of operations again of the Imagined Order, for those that can't remember in Chapter 1, the Zero Point actually resided underneath this particular name location, obviously in the vault that was actually underneath Loot Lake in itself that we got revealed to in later seasons. And with this being kind of a centre point of the island, now it's very possible that the Zero Point could be underneath here, which is also very important to note now, considering in the Chapter 2 Season 2 live event, the Doomsday device, or just the device overall when it came out of the ground, this was from below the agency where we knew the Zero Point to be revealed in the Chapter 2 Season 4 live event, so that meant the Doomsday device obviously harnessed power from it. 
Now, why is this important, you may be asking? Well, according to Hypex, not only in this 20.20 update were their new Jones voice lines mentioned, where that the I.O. apparently working on a new Doomsday device, but he then followed up a few hours later with the following post. According to Jones's challenges, noticed by Egyptian leaker, he asked you to put recon cameras near Loot Lake to get more info about I.O.'s Doomsday device, and in the last Territories map stage, we could see that the I.O. gets to keep Loot Lake, so we could be seeing an event there. Honestly, this very well could be implying we're going to be seeing a Doomsday event 2.0, and with Donald Mustard actually confirming in this Twitter video right here that Midas isn't dead, as we know, he was the creator and operator of the Doomsday device in itself. Could this mean that after so long of us thinking Midas has been dead, he not only returns, but as a forefront of the storyline, and perhaps even on the side of the Imagined Order? With this being very exciting, it's safe to say we're going to be finding out something or even more soon anyways, as there's only two updates left of this season being 20.30 and 20.40, and within one of those updates, now the moment you've all been waiting for, included in the title and the thumbnail, we sadly also have some bad news for Clombos, with this war getting kind of hectic, or potentially even having these things eliminated during the live event, but not permanently perhaps, as Epic Games, according to Hypex, are working on making Clombos killable, as of now they're working on making them drop a special version of meat, and 15 different types of loot, including ammo, mats, consumables, and maybe weapons. That's why they added NPC meat item yesterday in 20.20 that he's referring to. I gotta admit, I don't want to be killing Clombos, and let me know down below in the comments if you aren't going to be killing them too, as Epic Games also did state that they will be wiping out the entirety of Tilted if anybody happens to harm them, but now it almost seems like with the rewards we're going to be getting for doing so, they're making it an incentive. And with them perhaps being killable in time for the live event, could this then mean that the war that's going on with explosions happening everywhere, we could be seeing them drop like flies around us, or even worse, have them directly involved in the war, armoured up from either the faction, the Seven and the Imagined Order to fight off the opposing faction itself. Of course, for more intel on this, as soon as it drops, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and drop a like in today's video if you want to keep referring back to any of the already mentioned intel. But speaking of other videos, or your next destination now, make sure to interact with anything on screen, I don't mind, but most importantly, hopefully I can find you. Yes, you the individual still watching, I can see you, but hopefully in that very next video, I do post on the channel.